Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> This video is just to take you through our quick, hopefully final water line fix. Uh, this is to get this step is to get the water line uh, buried underground so that it can be protected from freezing through the winter. So let's take a look. So here we are back at the water line issue. Step one was to get it up out of the wash. So here's where it came out of the wall and went down onto the ground. You can actually kind of see the track there over to the other wall. So we pulled it up out. We did a little digging on either side just to be able to pull it out of the ground. And we're going to kind of move it in a little bit. We're not going to move it real far. Garrett's actually doing a trench right now. We've got it up, up out of the wash. So now Derek's going to dig a new trench about two feet deep. We're going to bring it up here, up into the driveway and reconnect. We actually broke it a little bit here while we were digging, but we're going to bring it up here and reconnect to this good section here on its way up to the next spigot. And that'll get us buried and safe from freezing. And as long as, with bringing it in that far, as long as we protect this bank a little bit in the future from getting eroded a ton more, then uh, bringing it in just a little bit should be enough. So that's the plan for today. Bill Derrick. Okay, so back on the water line fix again here. Uh, this is our entry into our property from the wash. The uh, first spigot, so our water line comes across that wash from the other side, where the well house is, comes to this first spigot, which of course has been washed out by the rains. We can take care of that. We can put some some fill in there to get that back but this is our first spigot that's actually a broken tree root there it's not actually the pipe but so we're intact up to this point after that first spigot we continue to walk the the water line comes up this way here he's going to head that direction you may hear Derek in the distance uh digging a trench because our wash is right over here to my side maybe right now about 20 feet but as I come up this way, the wash is kind of encroaching toward where I am now. But the water line should be pretty much right under my feet here where I'm walking. And it comes through here. And it really heads up. It heads up to a second spigot on the property, which is on kind of our secondary driveway. But the issue is, as this, as you can see in front of me, as the wash washes out, cuts the wall down, we had the problem that we had a few weeks ago where you'll start to pick it up here soon. So I'm walking over the water line, right? And here it comes. And this is, this is it under my feet. And it would head up this trench here. This is where it was headed. And as that wall washed away, we ended up, that ended up just dropping there. So right down into the wash, that's about maybe eight feet below me. And it ran along there. That's the part that broke that I had to reattach. And it ran up to the wall on the other side there. And again, however many years ago they put that in, that might have been perfectly fine. It might have been 10, 20, 30 feet, who knows, back of where the wash was at that time. But as the wash cuts this wall, obviously that just ate away, ate away, ate away, and eventually it got to that too. So we are moving it over. We pulled it out of this trench. And Derek is currently digging a new trench. Instead of heading this way, he's headed off to the right here, a good eight to ten feet away from the wash. And he's digging a trench. He's going a little deeper too, maybe two or so feet deep. Uh, and he's made it over there, right there, for to run the water line. Now, the reason this should be okay is because I mean, obviously left unchecked this this uh, wall would just keep eroding and that 10 feet would go away and who knows how long for a couple storms this wall would drop even more so but we've got to do something to sort of give that water 
protect that wall, either keep it away from the, keep it off of the wall, or build something up against the wall to stop that erosion. And you could say that, yeah, why not move the water line in farther, but if we allow that wall to come any farther onto the property, then it's really encroaching on our ability to really use the property for it to be usable. So we've got to stop this wall kind of no matter what. So, so moving the water line over just, you know, 10 feet or so ought to be enough because we've got to, got to make this wall stop uh, falling away no matter what. So for the purposes of our land and other buildings that are going to be out there. So, so this is what we're doing. I don't know if you can tell how deep that is, but it's a good two or three feet. And basically he's going to go up to where, so we pulled the water line out back a little bit to a point we could break off in a new direction. And we did the same thing on the other end where it came back, where it went back into the wall. We pulled it back a certain distance and we'll marry this trench up with that when we're a good, you know, 10 or so feet away from the wash. So that's what we're doing today. Just more of these kind of couplings and, and straps that I've done in the past to kind of finish that off. So we may need to gain a little bit of distance. We may need a little more tube to actually run this, this route, but that's okay. So that's what we're doing. So here we are for a look at the after of Derek giving us a new trench. I think you can see, you can see a little bit of the remains of the last one where it kind of went off kind of off out of the wall here once the wall eroded. Uh, but our new one, if I back up, kind of breaks off maybe in around this area and heads up this way. It's been filled back in and over time this will all get compacted. Um, so we run it this way towards our secondary driveway, which is where spigot number two is. So I'm walking right on top of the new water line or the new trench for the water line and it just heads and it now I'm connecting up with our driveway our secondary driveway and we're a good like I said a good eight to ten feet away from that uh, wall of that wash and we come back and where you can see it kind of stop the soil being disturbed um, that's where we kind of came back to our uh, original trench. So right here we kind of connected back up and it's the rest of the way it's just like it used to be and what it does basically is just run up this this driveway here to spigot number two in the line. So it should be right there kind of covered up in kind of foil looking stuff to prevent from freezing which by the way you know the 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 big reason for doing this and and the time sensitive part of it was because within a few months we will get freezing temperatures. So um, that tubing needed to get up out of that wash and undergrounds to, to protect it from freezing. We shouldn't have to worry hopefully for a while about the rains again until next monsoon season, at least severe rains. So hopefully we've, we're past that hurdle for a little while, but the freezing was gonna cause an issue with that tubing. So we had to get it underground. So I think we're good for a while and we can start thinking about some berming and things to kind of help some of the flow of water on the property, but we've got a little more time to deal with it now.